when you open Google Earth and look at the time lapse, a vast area in Indonesia turning from green to brown. The urban sprawl has become more and more intense, causes land transformation, and leads to the over-exploitation of land. Currently, 60% of Indonesia's population lives in urban areas. The World Bank estimates that this number will grow to 70% by 2045. So the problem is, how do we improve the environment while still paying attention to providing urban needs? Greetings! To the honorable judges and beloved friends, I'm Hikma Lakbar as Mahasiswa Berprestasi Universitas Jember 2025. Let's start to answer this problem. Understanding the key trends in urbanization and urban sprawl likely to unfold over the coming years is crucial for the implementation of Sustainable Development Goal, Point 11, Sustainable City and Community. Urbanization causes many cities in Indonesia to face rapid changes in the physical or non-physical aspects. Also, the United Nations estimates that three-fourths of global carbon emissions are accounted for urban areas. Now, let's turn our attention to the phenomena called urban heat island that become major impact that will threaten urban residents. The large amount of heat generated by urban activities and structures is the main factor of this problem as we know that urban planning in Indonesia is still very unorganized. Therefore, to reduce urban heat island, it is necessary to implement the design of future city development or improvement of existing cities in an environmentally friendly and resource efficient way. The most important things to do is to greening the city. Although urban space is finite, there are many ways to provide vegetation in urban areas. Functionally, Urban farming, interrupted gardens, or vertical in-building facades also includes as urban greening. This will have a good impact on the air temperature and humidity besides give a good psychological effect for urban residents. Moreover, not just greening the city, it is also necessary to bluing the city. Important to provide wetlands and water catchment areas to make evaporation space. Water can reduce the accumulation of heat and contribute to improved thermal comfort. Furthermore, the application of efficient urban geometry can provide comfort for residents by considering the cardinal directions, including the proportion of green plot ratio and building surface fraction. Varying between building heights and warmth can maximize the air permeability and minimize its impact on wind capture and airflow reduction. Spatial planning using zoning codes can organize urban activities effectively, including land use, functional agglomeration, urban structure, and urban pattern. Integration of all aspects in the form of compact city planning and design will prevent the potential for urban areas to sprout. Whereas, for large-scale activities, especially city industry, it is mandatory to use alternative energy generated by natural sources, including wind, water, tides, sunlight, and various forms of biomass. Last but not least, sustainable urban behavior should be encouraged, like using electric vehicles or public transportation for long trips, also walking, cycling, and using electric scooters for short trips. And don't forget to choose the devices based on their energy consumption rating. For example, it is better to switch from an AC to a fan. Hence, governments and planners have an important role in making policies and decisions to take careful action on urban development approaching the latter not only as a technocratic or political decisions, but as one that can affect our society's well-being and quality of life. When it comes to fighting climate change and reshaping the urban, academics like us are not just observers, we must rise as the change makers. With data in one hand and vision in the other, let's design breakthrough solution. Because our daily life is not just a routine, it's a living lab of innovation, where research collides with a real-world problems. And when that happens, it's not just a stay on a paper. It becomes the blueprint of sustainable future. We are part of citizens. Our innovation and contribution to heal this earth is urgent. Let's make our cities wonderful and livable, both for ourselves and future generations. Proud to be part of Mahasiswa Berprestasi. Thank you and have a good day.